you have this moment when you're out birding uh, where you've been looking maybe for a particular bird for a long time. You hear it, you go track it down, you find it in your binoculars, you get in focus and you have just a couple of seconds before it flies away and maybe continues its migration. And it's that fleeting nature of this sort of transcendent moment that you can have that I find very compelling and very addictive. Uh, so in making the film, I've definitely become a birder. I really started to enjoy birding. I think I really like it. And I didn't know how many amazing birds there were out there. And the, the main bird, as I've said, it's just something they can get out and just get into their own mind and with nature and do themselves. I'm particularly fond of ducks. I have my own white ducks at home on my own pond on my property. Uh, a fox killed two of them about two months ago. and It was very upsetting. To get the details right, uh, Luke and I spent a lot of time birding ourselves. And I went on a lot of trips with the New York State Young Birder Society. Uh, we had experts like Ken Kaufman and Morgan Tingley, who are great birders and ornithologists, read the script, give us notes. Um, and then when we shot the movie, we had Ken and Morgan, our birding consultants, come to set. But yeah, it was incredible just the amount of knowledge that they have and the fact that they can identify a bird as it's flying across, see it for two seconds, and they can know what kind of a bird it is. I won't ever be able to do that. We worked with the Macaulay Library at Cornell, uh, the biggest collection of bird call recordings in the world, to get all of the great bird calls that are in the film and to make sure that they were correct. Hey, put down Eastern Tony. We tr really did our best to get the details of the birding right, but even more importantly, we tried to capture the spirit of it, to capture that excitement of discovery. Uh, and that's what birding is. There are moments of discovery that you can achieve anywhere, in your backyard, in Central Park, uh, and what other hobby gives you that opportunity?